A few moments later To make a day off my friend I decided to give him a small Melbourne city to virtual Begin with the drive towards the city and look at the weather it's an amazing day today Melbourne is one of the most livable cities in the world I decided to start with the Melbourne Museum first. It is a natural and cultural history museum located in the Carlton Gardens in Melbourne and is the largest museum in the Southern Hemisphere. building was temporarily closed so i headed towards the next spot passing by melbourne city centre streets which is characterized by the spacious tree line streets many with the tram lines running along them so far from the city couldn't even compare ragged down highway too many miles from Then the next attraction was the Shrine of Remembrance. The Shrine of Remembrance is a war memorial in Melbourne located in King's Domain on St Kilda Road. It was built to honor the men and the women of Victoria who served in World War 1 but now functions as a memorial to all Australians who have served in any war. The next spot was Flinders Street Railway Station. It is an historic building located on the corner of Flinders and Swanston Street, opened in 1854. Today it serves the entire metropolitan rail network. Opposite to Flinders Street Station is the Federation Square. It is a venue for arts, culture, and public events on the edge of Melbourne CBD. It's increasingly hard to imagine Melbourne without Federation Square. This is Hosier Lane, the place where Melbourne street art first went massive. Every centimeter is covered in colorful murals, stencils, posters, stickers, and tags. Also, Ed Sheeran once did a surprise gig here.
is St. Paul's Cathedral, which is an Anglican church located prominently on Melbourne's busiest intersection opposite Federation Square. Next spot I covered is Burke Street. It is one of the main streets in the Melbourne CBD and a core feature of the Huddle Greed. It was traditionally the entertainment hub of inner city Melbourne and is now also a popular tourist destination and tram thoroughfare. Moving forward, I visited State Library Victoria. It's Australia's oldest public library and is one of the first free libraries in the world. Also, it is Australia's busiest and most visited library. Opposite State Library Victoria is Melbourne Central and I decided to show a small glimpse of it. It's almost 5.40 in the evening, so I decided to capture a beautiful night view of a couple of places. First on my list is Docklands. It is modern harbour development dominated by high-rise buildings and is popular for its shopping and waterside dining. And the next was Crown Towers. It is Australia's largest gaming as well as leading gambling and entertainment complexes. Next to Crown is Yarra River Promenade which has some amazing view to the city. Alright, so my friend loved the video and I hope you guys love it too. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Stay blessed. Be happy. Much love.